we are in Brighton, High Ken Park. Pretty massive intro. My computer doesn't charge, which is probably one of the most annoying things that can happen right now. There is two shops. There is one at the corner of the street, which is really close. I hope it has an adaptator plug, which I don't believe to. Uh, and there is another shop, which is 20 minutes of walk, which maybe they have some. Can go skate now. Oh yeah. Is a face of disappointment. In the picture, this park looked really pretty clean, actually, really pretty good. Now it is, it is trash. It is. I don't, I don't really, really, actually I don't want to skate here. You know what, for that, for that whole course there, I'm even scared to fall down and, and, and catch a freaking disease. The only safe part seems to be the flat part, so... For the sake of the whole journey, the walk that I've done, uh, landscape was pretty beautiful, actually. Still happy to come here, but I'm, I'm still going to skate a bit the flat part. Random. <laughs> actually really long and really really cool um, this is filmed after this is not the end of the video but I, I decided to make the video really differently for two specific reasons one I want to talk about the park I know it doesn't look like dirty or whatever and I really sound it weird when I say oh I'm almost afraid to fall and catch this season it was really bad I might not look like but glass everywhere like trash like just, it's it's actually nobody skates there anymore, and it's just a poser spot. So just people don't give a damn, and and, and that's a whole problem in the UK in general. Uh, it's just that parks are really really dirty. But the session was really good, actually, <laughs> really really fun. Uh, Learn another hill fakie on the ramp, redone frontside hill, frontside flip. Haven't done it in in so so much time, and it was so fun. But the thing is, and I said it at the beginning, the park that I wanted to skate looked really different. And it's for a very easy reason. It is literally situated at 150 meters from the park I've skated. It's just that from the way I, I arrive, the first thing you see is the park that I skated the first day. And you don't see the other ones. And I didn't even thought about it. Like, oh, uh, it might be there. I just... And, and I went there the third day, it's why it's different. Part 2 of the Brighton vlog is gonna be the second day, but now I'm going to show you the session of the, what I was supposed to skate the first day, and it's actually a very fun park. fun session and lightning is great and it's just such a small park you can see the sea and it's so calm and it has everything you need it has a bow a ramp and let's talk about that slam <laughs> that's one really heavy and I was I just wanted to do a couple of new slides to be confident to try back 50 and I just went and with too much speed or whatever and locked into a boss slide and yeah I was my collarbone is Pretty lucky to not literally explode after that, but uh, yeah, otherwise, two last trick. If it's 
not as well filmed, it's just that my little tripod broke at that time, so I DIY method. Uh, on this I really hope you like the first part of the Brighton Lock. And it, it's been fun to work a bit differently. By the way, I, I, I really want to thank you guys for 500 subscribers. I'm probably going to make a, just a short video where I only talk a, a very special one. Uh, but I, I, I really thank you guys and, and it's been just fantastic. It's one of my goals. I, I, anyway, I'm going to leave the, the emotional thing for the other video. On this, see you very soon for the Brighton Part 2. Take care.